Is your John Deere 997 seat terrible? Are the cushions all floppy? Has the seat frame broken here and here? Amongst other places that I can't seem to find right now. Anyway, I've uh, welded quite a bit on this seat frame. The cushions don't go back on in any way. The seat cushions themselves from Deer are $560. A suspension kit from Deer, which is actually, it's a little bit different kit than this. This thing has the springs on the back. Come on now. That's where the springs are on this. That's the factory setup right there. Where the newer seat kits have the springs underneath like this replacement seat. seat. Anyway, the seat kit or the spring kit from Deer is 370 some dollars, I think. So I'm not paying a thousand bucks for a seat from John Deere. Um, this is from Seats Unlimited. And let's see, the SKU number is SU-201111 BKYE. Uh, $360 shipped to my door, I think. So we got the springs under here this time instead of on the back. I did have to move this, the seat belts over from the old uh, seat. And one thing that I was curious about that, you know, would the new seat be able to accept the seat belts? Because from the pictures online, there was no spot to put those. It showed like a plastic piece over there. And um, anyway, uh, the, the guy at Seats Unlimited said, hey, if you don't want it, send it back to me. So. Uh, I took a risk on it, and sure enough, everything's there. And even one side even had hardware, the other didn't. But anyway, I, I reused the John Deere hardware because, as you can see, it was it's actually grade eight stuff. Where that's grade five there. But anyway, it's uh, it's fine thread. Um, let's see what's different about these um, on the original Deere piece. These are studs that are pressed in somehow, and I had to come up with these bolts um, that are going to bolt to the seat. Um, I don't know, whatever that pan is that's actually on the mower. Uh, what else? Um, oh, on the website, it says that you're gonna have to drill holes for a 997. I've already test fit this and no holes were needed, so uh, or no drilling was needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw this on the mower and I'll show you what it looks like with it on. All right, so there's the new seat. I think it looks all right. I uh, left the seat adjustment as far as the spring tension, right where it was at from the factory. It seemed to fit really well. The uh, armrests or it seemed to have the right uh spring rate anyway the armrests they're adjustable underneath here you got these little uh screws or bolts there that you can adjust to adjust your height anyway i like it by the way i may make a separate video on this but on these factory seats these pins right here control the amount of movement that your seat has to ride up and down. The way this mower came from the factory was all the way in this bottom hole and you only get about one inch of travel out of this suspension seat. I thought the entire time we had this thing that basically the seat was either junk or just didn't work. When I took this thing apart the other day to re-weld the uh, seat supports and all this down here um, I figured out how the thing worked and I saw these pins and I moved them and now the thing actually has like three inches of travel or so or at least enough to make a difference but anyway there's the new $360 seat on the 997 um, 
You know, it's different than the factory one, but I think it should be fine. Hope you all have a great day.